Okay, you're in for the e-ticket ride of the evening, for those of you who are into close-up magic. The performer that you're about to meet has appeared on a number of television shows, among them That's Incredible, Ripley's Believe It or Not, all of the talk shows. He's in the Hall of Fame here at the Magic Castle. He's one over there. He's got a caricature on the wall. He is well-known in the field of magic. And one of the reasons why is because he doesn't do a lot of magic. But what he does with the deck of cards, watch out. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Richard Turner. Well, how many are here for the first time? Yeah. Oh, that makes a few of us. <laughs> well, what I do is demonstrate how the old riverboat game was used to take you money. People like Canada Bill who believe that suckers have no business with money anyway. <laughs> What's your name? Your name is? I'm uh, Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carrie and? Julie. Hi, Julie. Uh, Carrie, would you do me a favor and cut half the deck here? That's good. Put the other half on top. Finish the cut. Very good. Now, when I ask you to cut the deck, you now know what to do. Now, when you play poker, blackjack, bridge, whatever you play, you want to make sure the deck is really evenly mixed. Now, I'm going to show you different ways to see people cut and shuffle pack of cards. It's called an up the river cut. This is an alternating up the river cut. This is a flying three way up the river cut. This is a what's called a strip cut. Now, there are many ways a pack of cards can be shuffled. I'm sure you've seen this business here where people kind of chop the cards back and forth. Accomplishes very little. Then there's what I call the wedge shuffle, where the cards are taken and kind of wedged them down into each other. You ever seen that, Terry? Probably the most common shuffle is this. I call it the crime shuffle because it bends the hell out of the card. <laughs> now the dealers in the casinos do what's called a closed riffle shuffle and a up the river cut. Back in the days of feral, the old feral dealers could actually take the cards and lace them up every other card. Wow. That is a considerably a more difficult method of shuffling the cards. Probably the most difficult of all shuffles is to shuffle the cards with one hand. Now I've shown you a half a dozen ways of shuffling and cutting the cards. The deck should be fairly evenly mixed, wouldn't you think? Let's see just how evenly mixed the cards are. <laughs> That's what I call an evenly mixed card. <laughs> Carrie, would you do me a favor? I want you to name a card. Something other than an ace. People are always suspicious of aces. Yeah, if you would, pull out the four queens. Look between the jacks and the kings and you'll always find a queen. <laughs> all right, you find all five of them? <laughs> okay, would you do me a favor? You shuffle those and I'm going to shuffle these. <laughs> okay. That's very good, thank you. <laughs> Oh, you have gloves on, you're going to have to take those off, aren't you? <laughs> All right, now what I'm going to do is demonstrate techniques used by the old river boat gamers. <clears throat> we're going to leave three of Carrie's queens on the bottom of the deck. Now say we're dealing a game of blackjack. I, the crooked dealer, I want the queen on top dealt to my own hand. I'll deal the cards around the table to the other players. When I choose, the queen is dealt. Watch face side. See, it's actually the second card that is being dealt. Until I'm ready to deal the top card, the queen does not move. And they're not off the bottom. The other queens are still there. The first card dealt was not a queen. Watch again. I'll deal it very slowly for the people in the back. Queen on top, slow motion. So it appears as though the card's coming off the top. Watch face up. You never, of course, have the privilege of watching it. Here's one hand. Now, when the queen is face down as it is during play, you can't tell that you've been cheated. The queen is still there. Thank you. Sure, you've heard of people dealing off the bottom. We have four queens on the bottom. Now, if you ever watched the old series Maverick years ago, they used to shoot each other for dealing their queens off the bottom. Of oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now the most difficult of faults dealing a pack is after a deck is cut, to deal cards out from the middle of the deck. Now I'm going to leave a pair of the queens face up, so you can try to watch them as they come out. Julie, would you give me a number of players in a card game? Pick a number between one and eight. Four. Watch. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Your name is? Brian. Brian, pick another number. Three. One, two, three. Wherever you say, a queen will come out. And so everybody understands. They're coming from the middle. I'll put them further down. Two more queens. Your name? Frank. Frank, pick a number, Frank. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> you know the last one in slow motion. Wow. Okay. Wow. One more number, Carrie. Eleven. We'd run out of cards if we had eleven players. <laughs> one, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa. Did you see it come out? No. I'll do it again. No, I didn't. I didn't. I was looking. No. And one more time. Ron, say stop. Stop. See that card? Everyone else, can take a glimpse. Give me a number. Where would you like it to come out? At? Pick a number. Five. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoops, the card. Five. Five. In other words, I can deal any card from any way. It's a handy thing to be able to do. Let me remember your face. How do you know this is really yeah, happening? I know. <laughs> People always want to know, how did I know where that queen was in the exact location? I'll show you. It's done by touch. Carrie, I want you to pick a number between 10 and 20. By touch of the fingers, I'll hand you the number of cards you said. 13. Watch. 13 cards. Would you count them out loud for us? No. By touch, I can feel 13 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Wow. <laughs> We're going to do it again, we're going to make it more difficult. 1 to 52 this time. But don't say 52, there's no skill. <laughs> Between 10 and 40, that's where it's tough. Call them up. 27. 27? And can you count them for us? I think that's 27 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Oh. In fact, if there's anyone out there with a stack of your personal business cards, you can pass them forward. I can touch them and tell you how many you have. Anybody with a stack right quickly? Stop. You have to have more. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to be from the same stock. That is the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say these are 6,000. I see there are seven here. Can you count the cards? Seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Who wants the hands? I'm going to try two different numbers at the same time. Four and ten. One, two, three, four. There's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> now there's a reason for developing that touch. Another purpose. The purpose is this. What do we have here? <laughs> the purpose is I can take Carrie's queens and shuffle them back into the deck, exactly where you want them to go, stacking the deck. Four queens. Carrie, would you do me a favor? Cut half the deck here. Okay, put the other half on top of this. Look it. It's very good. Now, Lon, did you say? Yeah. How many hands of poker should we stack this deck for? Give me a number of players. How many four. players would you like? Four players? And uh, you'll be my partner. Where would you like to sit? Position number one, two, three, or four? Two. Two. Now, the only way you're allowed to shuffle cards in the casinos, the high state games, just as I did earlier, is called a ripple shuffle, a little strip cut. And the reason is, you can't stack the deck. 
So you know I did as I said. Carrie, if you would take the deck, your four hands face up, start here. Face up one, two, your three, and four. And your number two, one, your number two, I think is what you chose, right? Three, four, what do we have for you? One, two, three. Sometimes take out the queens if you want to get here. You want the queens. You miss one card, one shuffle by one card. Everything is totally the same. Yes. That would be a good idea. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay. Another you have four queens there? <laughs> Once again, we'll do this. Four queens. Would you do me a favor? Take the cut after it here. And finish the cut. Ron, change the situation. How many players? Five. Five players. And Carrie, once again, you're going to be my partner. Where do you want to sit? One, two, three, four, or five? Five. Five. I'm going to attempt to shuffle the cards to the fifth, tenth, fifteenth, and twentieth position of the deck. Five players, fifth position. And once again, as you did earlier, you have five hands face up across the table. Start here. One, two, three, four, and you're five. Uh, one, two, three, four, and you're five. Oh my god. I would start with Eddie and Yeah! Wait till after the show. Oh my god. Look at that. What do you have in this hand? Show me how you shuffle. I'll actually shuffle those gloves on. The point of that is, based on the ability to be able to feel exactly what cards might take this. Pretty good. I shuffled them back to the deck where you chose every fifth position. Start at the fifth, and fifth, and fifth, and fifth, and twentieth. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who plays poker here? I'm going to try to run the cards up. Uh, how many players would you like this time? Uh, three. Three players. And Carrie, you're going to be my partner. I mean, uh, Julie. Two. Where would you like to sit, Julie? Number one, two, or three? Two. Number two, okay. Now this time, Carrie shuffled the cards. I'm going to try to shuffle the cards back to your request. If you would, once it, as she did, take the deck and do it. Three hands face up, start here. Face up, one, your two, and three. One, your number two. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I would say. No! no. <laughs> what do you have here? <laughs> Point is, you shuffled the cards. I shuffled them back exactly where you wanted me to shuffle them back to. In that case, every fifth position or every third position. And you can't do that once because you can feel exactly the cards. Oh, okay. like so. Now, have you ever seen the old shell game where they have three shells and a pea? You move them around. You try to guess under which shell lies the pea. This is the same thing using cards. What's that card carry? It's a card. What's that card? It's done. You have a pair of aces. Julie, what's that card? A jack club. That's the money card. The idea is to keep your eye on that jack, okay? Now, say you give it $200 on the table. Where would you say the jack is, anybody? George just lost $200. What the hell's the matter? <laughs> We better go down to a dollar warm. <laughs> the idea is to keep your eye on the jack. We'll go down to a dollar. You're down 200. Here we go. One, two, or three. Julie, tell George where the jack is. The jack is right here. You're down 199. He's got a dollar. <laughs> That's right. The other way, there are a pair of aces, and there's the jack. 
One, two, three. Tell George where the check is. 198 George needs your help. <laughs> Let's go $100 to throw. We'll work the debt off. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> Pair of aces. Don't take your eye off of the jack. Julie, one, two, three, jack. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, as soon as the Betsy oh. 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 Now George is down 298. Watch it. <laughs> Pair of aces. Don't take your eye off of the jack. One, two, three, Jack. Oh, no. Go ahead. Four. Yeah, it's in the middle. Oh. 398. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I better slow this down a little bit. Yeah, thanks. Right. There's a Jack. There's, a, there's an ace and another. Is everybody following? Yeah, sure. Are you yeah, sure? Right. Jack in the middle, that's right. We have an ace and we have another. Go ahead, Julie. It's in the middle. I'm sorry. <laughs> Julie, maybe this will help. When you watch, just remember, the Jack pays the money. If you pick an ace, you pay the money. I think you need help also. No. I'll show you what to watch for, okay? Does this help? Can you see I mean, I could rip the corner off, however, it ruins a good talk. <laughs> this way, you will know what to watch for, and I won't move you. Just say go, Tony. Say go. Go. Point. <laughs> 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 Something to remind you, never play this game. Would you like the jack or the ace? Pick one. Ace. I don't blame you. Take it. That jack costs you a lot of money. <laughs> Show it. <laughs> <laughs> another hundred on the way out. <laughs> one more chance. I hate to say this, but wins and losses, you're down a hell of a lot. Yeah, I know. You're 790. <laughs> Double or nothing. I'll give you a chance to get it all back. Double or nothing on an ace, George. Turn over an ace. The debt's forgiven. Otherwise, the debt's double. Tell Carrie she'll turn it. Which one do you want her to turn? The one you're in Turn it over, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, turn them all. Carrie, <laughs> 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 over here. <laughs> when the money gets big, I don't take chances. <laughs> Now, three-card Monty is for suckers. We're going to get into some serious cheating now. Would you do me a favor, Carrie, and shuffle the cards as you did? Very well. And uh, so you don't feel left out. Julie, I have a deck for you as well. Would you shuffle also? Now, in most high-stake card games, they have two decks going at once. A red and blue, while one is shuffled, the other is dealt. It speeds up play. Subsequently, you lose your money more quickly. Very good. And just aside. Now, Julie, or Karen, you're going to be my partner. Where would you sit? I'd like to sit. There are six players. Pick a spot. Here. Say the number. One. The, see, that's number one. one is over here. That's why I said, you want this? You want five, five. Okay, that's what you call the position. One, two, three, four, your five, and six. We're going to deal a little seven card stud. And with your shuffling, I'm going to attempt to deal you the best hand. And you're the fifth position right here at a six player table. Now, you don't want a royal flush because some of them probably shoot. <laughs> However, you do want at least a couple pair. Maybe three of a kind, but enough to get the money. Now we have down and dirty, as they say. You shuffled and cut. You chose the fifth position, six player table. What's that card for the people in the back? Ace of spades. What's that? Ten of hearts. What's that? Ten of spades. What's that? King of spades. What's that? Jack of clubs. And that. King of hearts. And Queen of Hearts. So we have an ace high straight. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Ten. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> you shuffled and cut the deck. You chose the fifth position in the time I dealt. I took care of business for her. Uh, favorite suit. <laughs> What's that? Take a little survey. What's your favorite suit? Hearts. Hearts. Okay. Did you shuffle that deck for me, dude? Yes, I did. Would you shuffle, get there, shuffle something, sorry. 
All right. Um, how many players do we have? Five, six, seven, pick a number. Five. You're my partner, Julie. Where would you like to sit? One through five. Number one. Number one. Okay. You're number one, two, three, four, five. Now, the, uh, the suit heart was chosen. And right before I deal your card, I'll let you cut the deck. We're going to make this a very, very difficult. Okay, you shuffle the card and you finish the card. Very good. The point is, right before dealing the card in your position, the deck is further mixed. And we're going to try to put together for you the heart blush. And down and the next day. You shuffled and cut. You chose five players. You chose position number one. You chose heart. For the people in the back, what's that card? A jack of hearts. What's that? Nine of hearts. Yeah. Three of hearts. Yeah. Two of diamonds. Just burn that card. <laughs> <laughs> An eight of hearts. Six of hearts. A queen of hearts. You flush the table. Oh, oh. My God. You shuffle <laughs> You chose five players. You chose position number one. You chose the hearts. In the timeline now, as I said earlier, I told you more than this before. <laughs> All right, did you shuffle that deck for me, Julie? I mean, not here? Yes. All right. Make sure it moves one direction. Give the deck a shuffle, set them aside. Any blackjack players out there? Not anymore, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to burn a card, and we're going to play a couple of you against me, the Crooked House. Now, first of all, do you know what a blackjack looks like? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like that, right? Uh. <laughs> Round number one. <laughs> all right, how many players this time? Pick another number. Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, do you know what a blackjack looks like? Round <laughs> 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 number two. You shuffled and cut. Seven players that time. Let's uh, pick another number. Four. One, two, three, four. I won't do it to you every time. You may get up and leave my table. What's your total here? Ten. You're going to hit or double? Please. What's your total? Fourteen. Are you going to stay? No. Okay. Go What's your total? Oh, one hundred. Yeah. For everybody's benefit, the total? Fourteen. Hit or stay? Uh, hit. Total? Sixteen. Hit or stay? Stay. Total? Quick. Sixteen. Hit or stay? Okay. Hit. Stay. Total? Yes. Do you Twenty. <laughs> Sorry, once again. No, it was just so you could like to do it. <laughs> How many players, who would you like to have receive a blackjack? How many players? Four. And where would you like to sit? Third. Third position. One, two, three, four players. One, two, your three. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, if I want to be nice, I can be nice. <laughs> Now you shuffled the deck, yes? Yeah. Now say you've been playing through the night, and for whatever reason, you have all the money. There's some sucker who wants to cut you double or nothing for the pot. Now the card you want to develop a touch for are the cards that beat the <laughs> I'm going to try something. I'm going to take in place an indifferent card on top of each of the four aces there? Yeah. Julie, uh, why don't you do me here? We cut half the deck here. Put the other half on top. Now I'm going to try in one cut to cut and join your aces. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the deck, face down, separate places, and mix them up. Carrie, would you do me a favor? Slide out a card. Please put it back and take something else. All right, let everybody see the card. Okay. Cut the deck for us, Carrie. There's a cut. Do it again. There you go. There's a name for that, but... 
can do it with no one. <laughs> All right, you cut the deck. Are you shuffling your card back in? What was your card? Seven of hearts. Seven of hearts. What's that card? Oh. Once again, shuffle the cards and force another card on you. <laughs> now, you shuffle the deck. Yes, Mr. Pendulum? Yeah. I'm going to attempt this time to attempt to cut and join your cards. Everybody see your card. Slightest <laughs> idea of what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Not trying>. <laughs> 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 Pretend you know it's gonna <laughs> shuffle. Get another cut. A random card shuffled in the middle. There's a cut. Going to this time, I'm going to attempt to cut your card to the bottom of the deck. What was your card? Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds, are you sure? <laughs> I'll give it one more try. <laughs> Shuffle the cards, take out another card. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to try to take and cut your cards to the bottom of the deck. Let's cut off with three. And one more makes four. Oh. 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 Face down separate places. <laughs> Show everybody your card. Mm. Put your card on there. Cut the deck. Random card shuffled in the deck. This time I'm going to make it a little more difficult. I'm going to try to twist a card from the set. What was your card? What's that? Oh. Last time, this is the fancy way or the pretty way of cutting. show you one last thing, something you should never do when you play cards. Never take the cards and shuffle them with uh, one hand. <laughs> Tends to make people a little nervous. <laughs> Especially if they see you shuffle with one hand while cutting with the other. <laughs> then they get up and leave the table and you're left playing with yourself. <laughs> anyway, on that note, Unless there's anyone out there that would like to play a hand or two. <laughs> it shows you what can happen when you play cards with people you don't know. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the show. Thank you very much. Friendly game. <laughs> 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 <laughs>